Hi hello viewers, it's my name Ayer Academy and today we are going to discuss April 2021 current affairs. So let's get started. First military forms. Military forms are closed after 132 years of service and the reason for its closure is certain committees recommended their closures and those are Quartermaster General Branch which recommended its closure in 2012 and in 2016 we have another one committee which recommended its closure and it is Shekatka Committee. Shekatkar committee also recommended its closure. So military forms are created to provide hygienic cow milk uh, to the troops. It is created during British India and it is created in 1889 in Allahabad. It was first created, then later it was created even in Leh and Kargil. It is to provide hygienic cow milk. So military forms, military forms are created to provide hygienic cow milk to the troops and uh, certain committees recommended its closure. It has closed after 132 years of service and 2012 Quartermaster General Branch had recommended its closure and in 2016 Shekatkar Committee had recommended its closure and it was formed in 1889 in Al Allahabad and later it was formed in Leh as well as Kargil also. Then we have AIM Prime. AIM Prime it is launched by Atal Innovation Mission and AIM Prime stands for actually it is launched by Atal Innovation Mission in partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Venture Center and Prime stands for Program for Research on Innovation, Market Readiness and Entrepreneurship it is to promote science based tech startups science based tech startups so AIM Prime, AIM Prime is launched by Atal Innovation Mission with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Joint Venture. It is to promote science based tech startups and Prime stands for Program for Researchers on Innovation, Market Readiness and Entrepreneurship. Then Qlux, Qlux is also called as Common Mosquitoes, the common mosquitoes which we see. Those are called as Qlux, Qlux are more common mosquitoes which can fly up to 1 to 1.5 km. It can fly up to a distance of 1 to 1.5 km and it causes some serious diseases. And now, recently in Delhi, there is a uh, very good uh, growth of this Qlux mosquitoes. So, municipalities are um, alerted for it uh, because of this, the Qlux mosquitoes are in use and it generally breed in dirty and stagnant water. So these are the things relating Qlux mosquitoes. So Qlux mosquitoes can fly up to 1 to 1.5 kilometers. Qlux mosquitoes are also called as common mosquitoes which we see. And it spreads some serious diseases. It generally breed in uh, dirty and stagnant water. And in Delhi they witnessed a high number of Qlux mosquitoes. So it is in news. Then we have Shanti Rograshina. Shanti Rograshina is a multinational military exercise in Bangladesh. It is a multinational military exercise in Bangladesh which was held in the uh, centenary of the birth uh, centenary of uh, father of nation of the Bangladesh, uh, Banga Bandhu Sheikh Mujbur Rahman and in this India is participating and there are certain other military observers like US, UK, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and Singapore are also in attendance in this Shantir Ogra Shena. So Shantir Ogra Shena is a multinational military exercise in uh, Bangladesh and in this India, US, UK, Saudi Arabia Kuwait, uh, Singapore are participating and it is to commemorate the birth centenary of Bangladesh, father of the nation and uh, that is um, Banga Bandhu Sheikh Mujpur Rahman. Then we have JLN. JLN stands for Joint Logistics Node. Recently, government has given um, approval for the uh, formation of three log joint logistics nodes and one is in Mumbai, another one is Guwahati and another one is Andaman and Nicobar Island. This joint logistic uh, node is going to provide integrated logistics cover to the armed forces. It, is pro it will provide integrated logistic cover to the armed forces for their small arms, ammunition, fuel, ration, general stores etc. So JLN stands for joint logistics node. Recently, government has given sanction letter for three joint logistic nodes. One is in Mumbai, another one is in Guwahati, and another one is in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. This joint logistic node will provide a logistic cover to the armed forces for their small arms ammunition, fuel, general stores, etc. Then we have Dada Sahib Palki Award. Rajinikanth is uh, recently selected for this Raja uh, Dada Sahib Palki Award. He has conferred, Rajinikanth has conferred this. Dada Shahi Palki Award and it is the highest award in cinema. Rajinikanth is an actor, so it is an highest award in cinema and it is given by the it is given annually at the National Film Awards by the Directorate of Film Festivals. 
So, Dada Shahir Palke Award recently Rajni Gart has got it. It is annually given at the National Film Awards and it is given by the Directorate of Film Festivals. Directorate of Film Festivals is organized. It is an organized by it is an organization which is set up under the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. So, Dada Shahir Palke Award it is given to Rajni Gart. It is given at the National Film Festival annually and it is given by the Directorate of Film Festival. Directorate of Film Festival is an organization which is under the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Then we have Chenna Bridge. Chenna Bridge is the highest railway bridge uh, in the world. It is the world's highest railway bridge. Once completed, once completed, it will be 35 meters above the. It will be 35 meter higher than the Eiffel Tower, and its uh, height is 359 meters above the Chenna River Bridge. And uh, this Chenna Bridge is located in the Chenna River, and it is on Jammu and Kashmir. So Chenna Bridge, it is the world's highest railway bridge, surpassing the China's record. And uh, it is 35 meters higher than the Eiffel Tower and it is 359 meters above the Chennai River Bread and it is in Jammu and Kashmir. Then we have La Perusi. La Perusi is a multilateral maritime exercise. It is a multilateral maritime exercise which is conducted by the French Navy and it is conducted in the Eastern Indian Ocean region. So La Perusi, it is a multilateral military exercise which is conducted by the French Navy in the Eastern Indian Ocean region and India is taking part in it. So it is important. La Perusi by French Navy. IEP stands for International Virtual Election Visitors Program. International, International Virtual Election Visitors Program 2021 recently held and it is launched by the Election Commission of India and 26 countries participated and three international organizations participated in it. And it is to facilitate how the Indian electoral process, it is to showcase how Indian electoral process is working and the voter facilitation and the electoral system in India. So IEP stands for International Ele Virtual Election Visitors Program IVEP 2021 and it is launched by the Election Commission of India and 26 countries and three international organizations participate in it and it is to showcase the electoral process in India and the electoral system and the uh, voter facilitation transparency in India. Everything will be showcased in this IVEP 2021 and Lab on Wheels. Lab on Wheels is a part of the Delhi Technological University. It is a part of Delhi Technologies University's program Education Riches You Scheme. Part of the Delhi Technological University Education Reaches You Scheme. Under this lab on wheels, a um, uh, bus will be customized and in that bus it will be containing 17 computers, 2 televisions, 1 3D printer, cameras, normal printer, everything will be there. And it is to provide uh, lectures, tutorials and to teach school students and it, was, uh, it will be useful for the Delhi government school students. So Lab on Wheels, Lab on Wheels is a part of Delhi Technological University's Education Reaches You scheme and in this scheme a bus will be customized and the bus will contain uh, cameras, printer, 3D printer, uh, TV, laptop and it will be used for providing education tutorials and it will teach the student and it will be useful for the Delhi government school students and other un underprivileged uh, children. Then we have Wolf Riot Star. Wolf Riot Star is also called as W type star. This Wolf Riot Star is a highly luminous object and it is a highly luminous and it is brighter than a sun. Highly luminous object and it is brighter than a sun and it is also hottest one. It is also hottest and it is hottest than sun and it is hottest than almost all other kinds of stars in the uh, stars in the universe. And uh, this Wolf Riot Star is a heterogeneous set of stars. So uh, Wolf Riot Stars, Wolf Riot Star is a W type star and it is a highly luminous object on the universe and it is the hottest of uh, almost all the stars on the earth and it is a heterogeneous set of stars and it is yearly called as W type stars. Then we have World Health Day. World Health Day is celebrated on 7th April. It is celebrated on 7th April to commemorate the formation of the World Health Organization. World Health Organization was formed on 7th April. Uh, 1948 to commemorate the day we celebrate World Health Day on 1948 and the theme for this year is building a fairer healthier world for everyone. So World Health Day celebrated on 7th April. It is celebrated on 7th April to commemorate the formation of the World Health Organization on 7th April 1948. Then we have Madhukranti Portal. Madhukranti Portal is a, it is an initiative of the National Bee Board. National Bee Board comes under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare and uh, it is under the National Beekeeping and Honey Mission. So Madhukranti Portal. Madhukranti Portal is an initiative of the National Bee Board which is under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare under the National Beekeeping and Honey Mission. The aim of this Madhukranti Portal to achieve traceability source of honey. It is to achieve the traceability source of honey. 
So, Madhukranti portal, it is under the National B, uh, National B Board, which is under the Ministry of uh, Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, under the National Beekeeping and Honey Mission. It is to achieve the traceability source of honey. Then we have Anamia. Anamia is a tribal health collaborative. It is supported by the Pyramal Health Foundation as well as Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And uh, it is to end preventable diseases in the tribal communities. So Anamea, Anamea is a tribal health collaborative. It is a tribal health collaborative and it is supported by the Pyramal Health Foundation and Bill and Melinda Gate Foundation and it is to end preventable diseases in the tribal health community, a uh, tribal community. Then we have Baishaki. Baishaki is a um, beginning of the Hindu solar new year. Baishaki is the beginning of the Hindu solar new year. And we have Vaishaki. Vaishaki is another one term. Vaishaki marks the first day of the month of Vaishaka and it is usually celebrated on 13th or 14th April. This Vaishaki is recently in news because Vaishaki is a Sheikh festival and for this festival, Sheikhs will go to Pakistan to celebrate this Vaishaki. So Vaishaki is a religious festival of Sheikh and it is it marks the beginning of Hindu solar new year. Then we have Red Sea. Red Sea is also called as Eritrean Sea. Red Sea is uh, bordered by ESED, SY, Eritrea, first Egypt, Egypt, Sudan, Eritrea, then Djibouti. Then in the in this side we have Saudi Arabia and Yemen. This Red Sea has a salinity, salinity which is greater than that of uh, four percentage of the approximate world average. So salinity is high in this Red Sea and it is also called as Eritrean Sea and in this region it has Babel Mandap state and it is connected to Gulf of uh, Gulf of Aden by Babel Mandap. So Red Sea, this is Red Sea and it is connected to the Mediterranean Sea by Swiss Canal and it is connected to the Gulf of Aden by Babel Mandap. Both of Babel Mandap is a stride. And Swissair Canal is an artificially created waterway and it has uh, salinity which is greater than world average uh, approximately 4%. Why? Because this, it has um, lesser connection with the great water sources, right? It is um, more closed. So it has a uh, higher salinity compared to other oceans compared to the world average. Then we have Nano Sniffer. Nano Sniffer is a micro sensor based explosive trace detector. Nano sniffer micro sensor based explosive trace detector and it is 100% made in India and it is made by the nano sniff technologies. Nano sniff technology is an IIT Mumbai incubated startup and the original patent process is with the US and Europe and it can detect the uh, bomb. It can detect the uh, explosives within 10 seconds and it will also categorize the explosives into different sectors. So nano sniffer, nano sniffer is an explosive trace detector and it is 100% made in India and it is made by nano sniff technologies which is an incubated startup of IIT Bombay and um, the original patent is with US and Europe and it can detect the uh, explosives within 10 seconds and it will also categorize the explosives. Then we have Doomsday Glacier. Doomsday Glacier or it is also called as Tawaiz Glacier. Doomsday Glacier or Tawaiz Glacier is located in Antarctica and it is uh, fastly melting because of its uh, melting. It is in news and it is 120 km wide at its broadest and it is um, 1.9 lakh square kilometer and it has uh, enough water to rise the water level by more than half a meter. So it is in news. Doomsday Glacier, it is also called as Tawaiz Glacier. It is in Antarctica. It is 120 km at its broadest and it is 1.9 lakhs kilo, uh, lakh square kilometer and it has enough water to rise the water level of the earth uh, by more than half a meter and it is fastly melting. So it is in news. AAMM uh, stands for Advanced Antiquities Management Systems. It is launched by the Goa government. AAMM stands for Advanced Antiquities Management System launched by the Goa government and it is used for the storage of antiquities. And this is used for the storage of antiquities and uh, it is the first software driven automated storage. So AAMS stands for Advanced Antiquities Management System. Advanced Antiquities Management System is launched by the Goa government and it is used for the storage of antiquities and it is a first dr software driven automated storage. Then we have brucellosis. Brucellosis is a zoonotic disease. It is caused by bacteria and it is caused by a bacteria of the genus Brucella. And it spread from animal to human. And it usually spread from animal to human through drinking of unpasteurized milk or um, uh, unpasteurized dairy products or raw milk. 
So brucellosis, it is a zoonotic disease, it is a bacterial disease, it is caused by the uh, bacteria of genus brucella and it spreads from animal to human if they consume unpasteurized dairy products or uh, uncooked raw dairy products or milk. Then Ungot, Unglot is a is in Meghalaya. Ungot is a river in Meghalaya and it is regarded as the clearest river in India and uh, recently there is a protest which is going on in this region because of a hydroelectric project which is proposed in this Ungot river. So it is in news. So Ungot river, Ungot river is in Meghalaya and it is regarded as the India's clearest river. Recently in Ungot river a hydroelectric project is proposed and because of this project uh, people in that region is protesting. So it is in news. Then Urka, Urka is a day before Bihu. Urka is a day before Magbihu. It is a day before Magbihu. We have uh, three Bihu. Bihu is a set of um, three Azamis festivals. Bihu is a set of three Azamis festivals. And three Azamis festivals are one is Rungali or Bohak Bihu. And another one is Kungali or Katti Bihu. Another one is Mo Bogali or Magbihu. So Bihu is a set of three Azamis festivals. One is Rungali or Mohak Bihu. Mohak Bihu is celebrated in April. And then Kongali or Katti Bihu which is celebrated in October. Then Bogali or Mak Bihu which is celebrated in January. The day before Mak Bihu is regarded as Uruka. And in this Uruka people erect makeshift huts called Meiji. So in this Uruka Meiji, hut, Meiji which is a hut made from bamboo is erected. Then we have GWT. GWT door road stands for Grand Western Trunk Road. Grand Western Trunk Road is in uh, Chennai and Chennai actually there is a controversy recently erupted after the Evia Periya Sala. It is generally regarded as Evia Periya Sala in Tamil Nadu. This Evia Periya Sala was recently mentioned as Grand Western Trunk Road on the signboards. Following this there is a, a controversy erupted. Then uh, Chennai Highway Department has clarified that uh, Grand Western Trunk Road is the name of the road as per their records. So they have clarified. So Evia Peria Road, it is also called as Grand Western Trunk Road, which is in Tamil Nadu. Then we have Seroja. Seroja is a tropical cyclone. This tropical cyclone has hit a Western Australian coast and the Seroja name is given in Indonesia. Seroja means lotus in Indonesia. So Seroja, Seroja is a tropical cyclone which hit the western Australian region and Seroja means lotus in Indonesian language. Then we have Potion Gayan. Potion Gayan is a national digital repository. It is a national digital repository on health and nutrition and it is launched by Niti Ayog and in partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Center for Social and Behavior Change Ashoka University and uh, it is on the it gives details on health and nutrition. So Potion Gayan. Potion Gayan is a national digital repository on health and nutrition and it is launched by Niti Ayog in partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Center for Social and Behavior Change in Ashoka University. Then eSanta. eSanta is an electronic marketplace that will provide a connectivity between the aqua farmers and the buyers. It will provide connectivity between the aqua farmers and buyers and it is launched by the Union Commerce Ministry. And this Santa stands for eSanta stands for electronic E Santa stands for Electronic Solution for Argumentic NASCA. NASCA Farmers. So E Santa, E Santa is launched by Commerce Ministry. It is to connect the aqua farmers and buyers. E Santa stands for Electronic Solution for Argumenting NASCA Farmers. Then we have uh, ITCN. ITCN stands for Infant Toddler Ca and Caregiver Friendly Neighborhoods Training and Capacity Building Program. And it is launched by uh, NAUA National Institute of Urban Affairs in partnership with the Bernard Van Lever Foundation. And uh, this is to bring capacity. Uh, it is to train the city officials and the young professionals about um, making infant toddler and caregiving uh, friendly neighborhoods. So the certificated program will be given. For the officials. So ITCN stands for Infant Toddler and Caregiver Friendly Neighborhoods Training and Capacity Building Program and it is launched by National Institute of Urban Affairs in partnership with the Bernard Van Lee uh, Foundation 
and uh, this is to give uh, training for the city officials as well as young professionals on infant total and caregiver friendly neighborhoods and in this uh, certified training will be given then we have monkey dactyl monkey dactyl is a species in news it is a flying reptile with the oldest opposable thumbs it is a fl flying reptile with the oldest opposable thumb and uh, recently a fossil is found for it and it is uh, 160 million old, year old. The fossil is 160 million years old and it is also called as Kun Ben Goptorus antipolicatus and it is also said to as monkey dactyl and it has opposable thumbs. Opposable thumb means nothing but the thumb will touch the tip of the other fingers. This is called as opposable thumbs. Humans as well as certain apes, monkeys had opposable thumbs and it is the first flying reptile after uh, uh, after some insects, it is the one which had flying flight. It is during the dinosaur period. It closely resembled dinosaur. So monkey dactyl closely resembled dinosaur. It is a flying reptile, and it is the second. It is the one to evolve power the flight after insect. Um, it is a uh, recently discovered. Uh, recently, a fossil was discovered, which was one sixty million years old. This monkey dactyl is also called as Kun Pengoptorus antipolicatus. It has opposable thumbs, which means the tip of the uh, the tip of the thumb can touch other fingers right this is called as opposable thumbs then we have tikka utsav tikka utsav is also called as vaccination festival which is in india it is also called as vaccination uh, festival it is launched by india the aim is to cover uh, vaccination for the maximum number of eligible people against the covid 19 so these are the things which we have seen in this video so let us have a quick revision of these things First, military forms. Military forms was closed after 132 years of service. Military forms. The closure is because of the Shekatkar Committee. Shekatkar Committee recommended its closure in 2016 and it is to provide. The military forms are created during British India. It is created in 1899 to create hygienic cow milk to the British tr uh, troops. Uh. Then we have AIM Prime. AIM Prime is launched by Atal Innovation Mission in partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Prime stands for Program for Researchers on Innovation, Market Readiness and Entrepreneurship. It is to uh, it is to promote and support the science-based uh, tech startups. QLEX stands for a common house mosquitoes. Culex is also called as common house mosquitoes and it can fly up to a distance of 1 to 1.5 kilometers. It breeds in dirty and stagnant water. It causes some serious diseases. Shantri Ogra Shena. Shantri Ogra Shena is a multinational military exercise in Bangladesh and in this India is participating and there are certain other participants like US, UK, uh, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and Singapore. It is uh, celebrated to commemorate the birth centenary of the Bangladesh father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujpur Rahman. Then JLN stands for Joint Logistics Node. A joint Logistics Nodes is um, government has given sanction letter for three Joint Logistics Nodes. One is in uh, Mumbai, another one is at Guwahati, and another one is in Andaman and Nicobar Island. The Joint Logistics Node will provide integrated logistic cover to the armed forces. Then we have Dada Shahi Palki Award. Recently, Rajini Gant has conferred this Ra Dada Shahi Palki Award. The Dada Shahi Palki Award is given annually at the National Film award ceremony of the which is by the directorate of, of film festivals directorate of film festivals is an organization which is under the ministry of information and broadcasting then chenna bridge chenna bridge is in jammu and kashmir and it is the highest railway bridge it will be the world's highest railway bridge once completed and uh, it is um, 359 meters above the uh, Chenna river bed and it will be 35 meters above the Eiffel Tower. It will be 35 meters higher than Eiffel Tower and La Perosi. La Perosi it is a multilateral maritime exercise which is conducted on the eastern Indian Ocean region by the French Navy. Then uh, IVEP. IVEP stands for International Virtual Election Visitors Program 2021 which is hosted by the Election Commission of India and 26 countries and 3 international organizations participated in it. It is to uh, showcase the India's electoral process, India's um, uh, transparency and accessibility of the electoral system etc and the lab on wheels lab on wheels is an uh, uh, is a part of the delhi technological university's education reaches you program and it, in this lab on wheels it has a customized bus which has laptop computers te uh, tv televisions uh, 3D printers, printers, etc. It is to provide tutorials as well as to teach uh, the students. It will be useful for the Delhi school, uh, Delhi government school students as well as the underprivileged students. Uh, then Wolf Riot Stars. Wolf Riot Stars, stars is earlier called as W type stars. It is a highly luminous object which is brighter than the sun. It is a uh, hottest star. It is the hottest uh, one. It is hotter than almost all other kinds of stars. Uh, Hotter than almost all other kinds of stars, luminous, and it is heterogeneous. It is a heterogeneous set of stars. 
Then we have World Health Day. World Health Day was celebrated on April 7. It is to celebrate on April 7 to commemorate the formation of the World Health Organization. World Health Organization was formed in April 7, 1948. Then we have Madhu Kranti Portal. Madhu Kranti Portal is an initiative of the National B Board. National B Board comes under the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Sorry, sir. National B Board uh, comes under the Ministry of Agriculture. National B Board comes under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, and it is under the National Beekeeping and Honey Mission. And the portal is developed to achieve the traceability source of honey. So, Madhu Kanti Portal, Madhu Kanti Portal is by the National Bee Board. It is under the National Bee Board of the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. It is under the National Beekeeping and uh, Honey Mission, and it is to achieve traceability source of honey. Uh, uh, traceability source of honey. Then we have Anamia. Anamia is a tribal health collaborative. It is uh, supported by the Piramal Health Fo Piramal Foundation and it is supported by Piramal Foundation and Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. It is to end preventable deaths in uh, tribal communities. So Anamia, it is a tribal health collaborative, tribal health collaborative which is supported by the Piramal Foundation and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. It is to end the preventable de deaths in the tribal community. Then we have Baishaki. Baishaki is the um, beginning of the Hindu solar new year and it is celebrated by Sheikhs and during this Sheikh, uh, Sheikh pilgrims will go to the Pakistan from India. So Vaishaki, then we have Vaishaki. Vaishaki marks the first day of the month of Vaishaka which is generally on 13th or 14th April. Then we have Red Sea. Red Sea is also called as Eritrean Sea. On the top of Red Sea we have Swiss Canal. On the bottom we have Babel Mandar. Babel Mandar is a strait which connects Red Sea with the Gulf of Aden. Red Sea is bordered by Egypt, Sudan, Eritrea and Djibouti. And in this side we have Saudi Arabia and Yemen. And Red Sea salinity is higher than the world average by 4% because it has um, lesser connectivity with the other oceans. Then we have Nano Sniffer. Nano Sniffer is an explosive trace detector and it can detect the explosives within 10 seconds. And it is 100% made in India and it is made by Nano Sniff Technologies which is an IT, IIT Bombay incubated startup. And the original patent is with US and Europe. And it will deduct the, uh, deduct the explosives within 10 seconds and it will also categorize the explosives. Then Doomsday Glacier, it is also called as Tawaj Glacier. It is in Antarctica and uh, this uh, Tawaj Glacier or Doomsday Glacier is fastly melting. And it is 120 km at its broadest and it is 1.9 lakh uh, square kilometer. And it has enough water to rise the sea level by half a meter. Then AAMS, AAMS stands for Advanced Antiquities Management System. It is launched by Goa government and it is for the storage of antiquities and it is a software driven automated storage. Then we have brucellosis. It is a zoonotic disease. It is a bacterial disease which is caused by a genus called as brucella. It spread from animal to human through consumption of unpasteurized cow milk. Then we have Ungot. Ungot is a it is a river. It is recorded as the clearest river in Meghalaya. It is recorded as the clearest river in India. And recently a hydroelectric project was proposed in this Ungot river. So the people are protesting against it. So it is in news. Then we have Uruka. Uruka is a day before Malk Bigu. We have three Bigu. So three Bigus are celebrated by the Assamists. So there are three important Assamist festivals. Bigu. So those are first one is uh, we have Bohak Bigu, Kongali Bigu, or um, Bohak Bigu, Kakti Bigu, and uh, Mag Bigu. Mag Bigu is observed in January. Then we have GWT. GWT stands for Grand Western Trunk Road. It is also called as EVR Periyar Sale and it is located in Chennai. Then we have Seroja. Seroja is a cyclone. It is a tropical cyclone that has the western Australia and uh, uh, Seroja means lotus in Indonesian. Then we have Potion Kayan. Potion Kayan is a national digital repository on health and nutrition and it is launched by the Niti Aayog in partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Center for Social and Behavior Change Ashoka University. So Potion Kayan is a national digital repository on health and nutrition and it is launched by Niti Aayog in partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Center for Social and Behavior Change and Ashoka University. Then we have E-Santa. E-Santa provide um, Connect e center is the one which uh, it is a platform to provide connectivity between the aqua farmers and the buyers and it is under the commerce ministry and the e stands for e santa stands for electronic solution for augmenting naxa farmers so e santa provide connectivity between the aqua farmers and buyers it is under the commerce ministry ministry and e center stands for electronic solution for augmenting naxa farmers then we have itcn itcn stands for infer toddler and caregiver friendly neighborhoods 
training and capacity building program and in this uh, the training and uh, skills certificate will be provided to the city officials and young professionals and it is launched by national institute of urban affairs in partnership with the bernard van lee foundation and then we have ahar kranti ahar kranti it is a uh, Ahar Kanti it is to raise awareness of the importance of the nutritionally balanced diet in India. It is to raise awareness of the nutritionally balanced diet in India and it is run by Vishwa Bharati Vibha and uh, just uh, Global Indian Scientist and Technocrats Forum. So Ahar Kanti it is to raise awareness about the nutritionally balanced diet in India and it is run by the Vijna, Vijna Bharati Vijna Bharati and just uh, Global Indian Scientist and Technocrats uh, Forum. And then we have monkey ductile. Monkey ductile is a flying reptile with opposable thumbs. It is a fl flying reptile and this has the oldest oppos opposable thumbs. Opposable thumbs means the tip of the thumb has the ability to tip, uh, touch other fingers. Right? This is opposable thumbs. And along with humans, apes and other monkeys, this monkey ductile also have opposable thumbs. And uh, recently a fossil was discovered out of it. Uh, this fossil is uh, 160 million years old. Uh, this uh, monkey ductile is also called as Kunpingoptorus antipolicatus. And uh, it is a reptile and it is a cousin of dinosaur. It closely resembles dinosaur. And it is the first one to evolve powered flight after insects. After insects, it is one of the first animals to evolve powered flight. Then we have Tika Utsav. Tika Utsav is a vaccination festival which is uh, in uh, India. And uh, it is to cover... Uh, maximum number of people uh, in vaccination to vaccinate a maximum number of people we have a uh, dika Utsav. it is a vaccination festival which is launched uh, for the covid 19 so these are the things which are relating to april 2021 so subscribe to my Minute ias academy thank you